If you've been watching TV over the past two weeks, you have probably seen this woman talking about health care. Uh, she's asking you to call Senator Tina Smith. The group behind the ad, Doctor Patient Unity, brings up something they call government rate setting. And that is a term several of you emailed us about because you had never heard it before. So, what is government rate setting? Good question. Here's Heather Brown. Before we even get to what Dr. Patient Unity calls government rate setting, let's talk about the problem some lawmakers say it could help solve. A surprise medical bill. Because the ad doesn't clearly lay out the link. I thought, what does that mean? It was confusing to even me, who was, I think I know a lot about the healthcare system. Dan McLaughlin teaches healthcare policy at the University of St. Thomas. When you get to understand it and, and you find out it's really about out of plan payment. In other words, what you can be charged if you're out of network. That's where the surprise comes in. Maybe the hospital you went to was covered by insurance, but the anesthesiologist wasn't. Or maybe you had an expensive test that was, unbeknownst to you, sent to an out of network lab. A $50,000 bill for Thomas's stay in the NICU. There is bipartisan legislation in the U.S. Senate called the Lower Health Care Costs Act of 2019. And Senator Smith is on a committee that recently passed it to the next round. She's one of 11 Democratic and Republican senators this ad is targeting across the country. And this legislation is more than just these surprise medical right, bills. Right. It deals with the air ambulances and pharmaceutical costs. But one part of that bill does address those surprises. That's where we get to the government rate setting. So what is it? In this legislation, there would be a benchmark on what doctors or hospitals could collect from a patient who's out of their network. That benchmark would be a similar rate to what other network providers in the area get paid for the same procedure. So they would put a cap on how much the provider would get? Yes. Okay. And that's the concern on the part of providers. Doctor shortages, hospital closures. Would it cause doctor shortages and hospital closures? I don't think in any immediate sense. It's hard to know that for sure, but hospital groups have said if this were to pass, health plans might tighten up their networks. Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. Senator Smith did vote for the legislation in committee. But she says she supports a system that would allow the providers and insurance companies to negotiate the prices rather than set benchmarks. If you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going to wcco.com links.